They're calling this one of the biggest games in Tulane in the last 10 years. It's the American Conference opener. For the third time in four games, Houston has won the toss. They have received all three times they've won the toss. They want their offense on the field first. And we'll get a look at De'Ara King and the Houston College football. He'll keep it here with Kyle Porter blocking. Man. And then toss late downfield to Marquez Stevenson. His top target, the border on play one, puts the Cougs on top. What a start here in New Orleans, Adam. Everybody talked about De'Ara King being a runner. The Tulane defense knew that. It almost felt like he was going to do it. Then he pulls up and drops a tucker. Yards after catch. What a way to start for Houston. 75 yards in 14 seconds. Heard what that was. Could be a combination of a lot of things. I could drop a Cajun in there if you need it. Who that said he's going to get the first down? Well, he's gunning for it on the pass for Darnell Mooney. Mm. Just overthrown. He had Sean Lewis in coverage. King rifles. He's got his man. It's Keith Corbin. And Corbin gets to the sticks at the 25-yard line. Pick the rush just four. Forcing King out of the pocket. Stops and fires. Mm. And Trayvon Bradley reaching out mm. near midfield. <laughs> Not, no left-handed quarterbacks in the NFL. Is that real? The righty deer and King gets hit. Intercepted. Tips and overthrows. Got to get those. That's a difference maker in the game. You're playing a talented, explosive offense. You need the ball to bounce your way. The ball is not round for the Tulane offense. Eight takeaways already this season for Tulane. And now they go on the ground with Darius Bradwell picking up good yardage on first. Get him there. Little end around action. They needed just the 38 yard line. Damari Jones, Jones got hit hard by Damarian Williams, but it is for the first down. The fake to Bradwell. The lefty McMillan fires and it's in. It is caught. Touchdown, wow. Jalen McCluskey. The transfer from Oklahoma State going up top. But there's no defense for the perfect throw. Mm. McCluskey with the touchdown. They've been waiting to lock in, get set, just get the free play. You get a free five yards out of it. It's third down and five, and Tulane brings pressure. King dumps it off. He's got Bryson Smith, and he was able to maneuver past the sticks. Penalty marker throw. De'Ara King with a lot of patience there to find the path. Instead of just running it, Found his guy, picked up a first down. Now we got guys breaking tackles here. That's Patrick Carr, the transfer from Colorado, going for 13 on the play. Sight from Athens for college game day. Starting your day on Saturday at 9 a.m. Eastern on ESPN and the ESPN app. Big hole for Kyle Porter, and he's able to work past the sticks to convert another third down. This is going to be the... Who that what? zone next zone player is going to be. Yeah, he got a big hit coming, maybe. He already scored for 75 yards. We need him down the line. Can't be taking a big shot. I respect it and understand it, but now he's coming around the outside. Speed burners for Mark West Stevenson. Tiptoeing down the line inside the three. You're now forgiven for your drop. That kid got loose there. Let's have a little respect for him. Goal line defense. Big bodies on big bodies. Kyle Porter going airborne. Mm. He's in for the touchdown. All-American. Four straight state title games. Two titles. And now Dalton Witherspoon adds the extra point to get have a chance to touch the football. And this feels like an important third down and nine. Eight back in coverage for Houston. McMillan looking for a window and cannot find a receiver. Jatavian tolls. Night. The only thing that matters is trying to get up two scores here from DLK. Fifth Houston drive of the opening quarter begins with a Kyle Porter run across the 40-yard line. He's had a <laughs> First down for Houston, and it's Kyle Porter again making a man miss into the open field and inside the 30 up Tulane. Finally brought Porter's run has set Houston up at the 28-yard line in Tulane territory. And a quick strike to Keith Corbin. And Keith Corbin is into the end zone for a two-touchdown Cougar lead. That was too easy. Whenever you've got the run game going like that, it really opens up everything else. They're scared of Kyle Porter, and then that pass is 
Made it look easy, Pat. You get that run game going, they got to respect that R in the RPO, and then all of a sudden, boom, pull it, wide open. At that point, he was 41. Okay. So add 11 more years, 52 now. And of course, Dana Holgerson was his offensive coordinator for a year. Justin McMillan takes it out across the 35 with a good... This offense, they haven't shown it so far tonight. He's trying to get them back on track. I think he's got to do it with some completions. One for six is McMillan until that one. McCleskey lost the football. Big hit by Deontay Anderson, and the Cougars take over. Now, obviously, they're going to really on the field is determine catch, whether or not this is an incompletion or a completion. It is going to be ruled in. Third down for University of Safety blitz mm. coming. De'Aaron mm. King makes a miss, and he's got the first down. And he might have the record if he could get to the end zone. Just like that. He has set the new FBS record 15 consecutive games with a passing touchdown and a rushing touchdown. De'Ara King by himself in the history books with that 35-yard. And ran himself right to the top of the record books. Justin McMillan to work with. He's trying to evaluate in a very small amount of time how to make the right decision. He's going to run it here and step out of bounds near the 40. In that locker room, none of them are going to quit. And let's see if they can continue to keep stacking. There goes Dauphine again. He's explosive. And he gets chopped down after a good gain inside the 40. 20.7. So if he busts it out and gets loose, it's going for six. McMillan. Being chased, cuts it up the field, has some blockers in front, and he runs for another first down inside the third. Doctors and lawyers go to school here at Tulane. That's, That's right. True. They're Let's turning up tonight for the Tulane <laughs> Green Wave. Darius Bradwell making men miss, and he sets up first and goal for the Green Wave. Darius potentially going to happen. Let's see if Justin can back, bounce back here. Here comes Stephon Hutterson, cutting it up, and he, he is pass. in for the touchdown. First touchdown in two years for the Jew. Was able to keep his feet and allow Merrick Glover to add the extra point. Back to a two touchdown game. King rolling, throwing, and it is caught for a first down. Five of six. On the He's trying to slow down the tempo. Halfway through the second quarter. King under pressure, got rid of it to Christian Trahan, who spins for a first down. Just an incredible play by De'Ara King. He's got somebody drive take it to a big bank, but that's a big night for that football person of the week. Empty set for De'Ara King on first down. Taken off again, and good yardage inside the 30. Around the corner, I guess. Kids frequent. Speaking of frequent, De'Ara King has frequented the skies and it has worked out. Another first down for the university. Kind of a window to fit it into. Excellent first half offensively for Houston. 11th play of this series is a run for Patrick Carr down to the 15-yard line. That's more like 225 pounds. He's running the wheel route. Nothing but time. King dancing, cutting. Still looking downfield, wide open man, and it's incomplete. Keith Corbin was sitting by himself, and King could not connect. That one sailed right, and now we're going to field goal. Dalton Witherspoon. Off the upright, no good. Yeah, the kid on the, at, during the break there hit it from 25. I mean, six more yards there. <laughs> <laughs> Corey Dauphine, we talked about his explosiveness, and he takes it out across the 30. Move fast, try to make friends, try to make good teammates. He arrived at Tulane five days before their opener last year and took over midway through the season as the QB. Unable to connect on the perimeter with Jatavian Tolls, and it brings up only about a 350-mile trip from Houston to New Orleans. It's a big game for these two teams in conference for recruiting. A whole lot on the line tonight. And Amari Jones with an excellent return. He'll take really fast as an offense. It puts more stress on your defense. So Dana Holgerson clearly thinking about both sides of the ball. Four games. McMillan will hand it off for Bradwell. Looked like he had enough for the first down, and indeed he does. He gets a little more game.
Play action fake. McMillan, deep shot for the speedy Darnell Mooney. Got it! Touchdown Tulane! We got a ball game in the Big Easy. I absolutely love the fact that even though he didn't connect on a bunch in the first half, they went right back to the deep shot. A 48-yard putter for Justin McMillan to Mooney. What a play, too, to go up there and snag that. Here early, they go for it and get on the board. Extra point is beautiful. And past TDs in consecutive games, dear King. He's got Moma Carr in the backfield. We weren't expecting to see him, but Kyle Porter is out with back spasms now. Marquez Stevenson, he's got a first down into two-lane territory. Dragged out of bounds by Lip. A little bit, Marquez Stevenson got loose after the catch. 20 yards, throw it four yards downfield, goes for 20. This one has a chance. Deere King gets close to the sticks. The twist from Tulane got it off to Terry Mark, but he gets swallowed up at the 36-yard line for no gain. Jalen was the starting quarterback last year midway through, went 5-1 and one as a starter to end the season. He's 7-2 and two in his starting career. Good run by Bradwell to move the chains to the 29-yard line. Pick up a couple first downs, get you right back in the game. McMillan. Tulane is built on running the football. 44 straight games the Green Wave have ran for it. Well, it's 0 for, 0 for 7 on third down. Let's see what they do here. Right up the gut, Corey Dauphine using some of that explosive speed to the... Blitz coming from the Cougars. McMillan against pressure, throws it deep. Mooney was the intended target, but the... Houston was not able to travel its band to this game tonight because of the brutal weather that they're dealing with right now. So if you can't help out, please do again. Red transfer portal running a little bit of a hurry up here, a little bit of tempo on third down. King designed run, a lot of pressure against him, and he's knocked down by Patrick Johnson, a big two-lane stop. Place is coming alive a little bit. It's the staff cannot be happy with this lack of execution. I mean, what do you call? What do you call? It's third and forever. You're on the two-yard line, three-yard line. Millen to throw it under pressure. He's got to get out of the end zone. Fires deep sideline. McCleskey put a foot down, and it is caught. That's what you call that. <laughs> Defense, you got him inside the five with that third and forever situation. And now Bradwell pounds his way to a first down. Good, Good tempo. Here. 14 of them came against Oklahoma. Well, that's a lot. Dauphine's got a lot of space. Nice block on the perimeter by Mooney. Dauphine breaking tackles down to the 25. Getting back to their bread and butter run game. Second down, Darius Bradwell pounding ahead. Close to the sticks, down to the field of Molly Brown. Like was created for babies, perfected by athletes who are dehydrated. Hmm. Not a sponsor yet, maybe soon. McMillan, cutting it. Touchdown to Wayne. A point away from tying this game. What a play by Justin McMillan. Took some accountability. Coming penalties that they've done to themselves. Getting away from the passing game. Going back to the two lane. Green wave. Ride the wave. The offense put up for him. King fires and he connects with Keith Corbin. First down on a gain of 12. What an answer there. King, if Tulane is going to win this game tonight, De'Aaron King is going to make a mark. Patrick Carr. Boy, found a big hole and turned it into an 11 yard game there. Two good plays between the Green Wave and the Cougars. On third down, Patrick Carr stacked up, pushes ahead for the first down to the 41. I will banged up his linebacker core is, and so he's using tempo selectively. He's not using it all the time, but he's using it at the right time. Mulva Carr, a little leg drive there, trying to hold on to the ball. As the green, this is third down, it's a big one. Trying to stop Mulba Carr, breaks one tackle, spins ahead for the first down. Jeffrey Johnson could not wrap him up in the backfield. It's a in a row. You can sub out on offense, you can't sub out on defense. King looking, and he's wrapped up and brought down by Nick Anderson. I saw him hitting in warm ups, he has a big leg. The two lane crowd is coming alive. Good snap, good hold. Missed it. 
wide left, no good. It's on 31 yard line, and Justin McMillan with a chance for the lead. End around, they give it to the speedster Amari Jones. Stepped out of bounds near midfield, excellent one to open the drive. That's now nine offensive penalties against Tulane. Darius Bradwell gets that penalty yardage back down to midfield and down to Molly McGrath we go. Tulane much better on third down after a shaky start. Just a three-man rush. McMillan to the sticks for a first down. He finds Jatavian Tolls. Strike. Found some dryness on the hands and could use a sham wow at this moment. Back to the ground game. They've been so successful under Willie Fritz in that regard. And Darius Bradwell rumbles towards the sticks a little bit. Not take a sack. This is this is the very edge of Merrick Glover's field goal range. Blitz from Houston. McMillan for Mooney again. Could not hold on. Perfect play call against Auburn two weeks ago. You see the kicker on the other side missed two kicks. Now it's your time to step up for your team. Glover to deliver the lead. And he has put Tulane in front for the first time tonight. Six minutes left in the fourth quarter. The first time your team. SPN. Six minutes of ball. Let's go. De'Ara King. Good block from Patrick Carr, and he runs right near the sticks. Saying, hey, people try to steal our signals. we got to go to a wristband. And it's key on this drive. Under pressure, he finds Christian Trahan. And Trahan works ahead to the 41-yard line. Opportunity to as well. On second down, Moma Carr in front of De'Ara King, who's got the first down. De'Ara King has been in big... Tulane brings the heat. King on the move. King looking for Corbin, and Larry Brooks breaks it up again. Fourth and nine from the 48. Here comes the pressure. De'Ara King, a lot of green grass in front of him, and he's got the first down with his feet. Lowell, Lowell yep. you, you got it. You got to bring the blitz, but you can't overrun it. You, you got to be aware of where this great running quarterback is at it every time. And he's right down inside the 25-yard line, down to the 21, 11. And so what, now what? Strong disagree. First and 10 to Eric King, seeking space. And he's down inside the five-yard line, second down coming up. In lane by three with 30 ticks to go in the conference opener. No safeties deep here, Adam. And King to throw. End zone for Corbin. It is incomplete. Could not hold on. Fourth down. And Will you step up and show out for your team, Dalton Witherspoon? To tie it. And this time he coolly connects to tie this game with 21 seconds to go. So impressive. Both these guys in action. Oh, it's a trick play. Amari Jones. Trick play. Oh, they fooled him, and he works it out near midfield. I love everything about that. We have been treated well. Eight back in coverage for Houston. McMillan launches down the middle for McCleskey, and he breaks free. Jalen McCleskey, touchdown, touchdown. They take the lead with three seconds left. as quick as possible. The way this game is going, I would say this game is not over. Never mind, we're gonna annexation of Puerto Rico this thing. Stevenson, trying to circle around. Marquez Stevenson, a penalty marker is thrown. Still on the move, gets a block, mm. taken down. We'll have to check the flag. But if it stands, what a night and what a win for Tulane. Let's check the flags. For Tercy, number 89, Edelton's decline. The biggest Tulane comeback in the last 17 years in 
dramatic fashion on Thursday night here in New Orleans.